Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a day off so I thought I would just vlog, like literally I've got nothing planned but I thought I would just bring you guys along in like a normal sort of chilled day off. So I've just played with Harley for a bit as you guys would have just seen and now I'm having my breakfast. I'm having very boring toast um, and I've got some orange juice as well. But yeah, normally I have waffles and fruit and I've run out of fruit, so that was devastating when I looked in the fridge. Um, so I need to go to Tesco, surprise, surprise, today um, to get some fruit because it's essential. Like, I love my waffles and fruit for breakfast. Like, it just sets me up for the day and I look forward to it so much. And it's the first breakfast that I've ever, like, looked forward to because before that I just wasn't really interested in breakfast. I just ate it because, like, I was hungry, but I didn't like look forward to the actual meal because I'd never find something that I liked but my waffles and my fruit I love. Okay, just a quick clip to say that we are out for a walk. It is so windy. I don't even think you'll be able to hear me. I've got my little microphone because I'm hoping that you'll be able to hear me. Because without it, you definitely wouldn't. You can probably hear the waves crashing and just like the wind and everything. But me and Harley are having the nicest, most peaceful walk. We literally haven't come across one person yet, which is our favorite kind of walk. <laughs> You'll understand if you have a reactive dog. So I've just pulled up outside Asda just because I need to get some essential bits like my fruit and my waffles like I mentioned this morning. And then I also want to get Easter eggs for my nieces and my nephew. Uh, so I'm just gonna get them now. And of course I'm also gonna look at the homeware section because Asda home is just amazing and they always have new stuff. So I'm gonna have a little look whilst I'm here. It would be rude not to. So I'm in Asda now and they've got some really nice garden furniture. I cannot wait to like buy some furniture for the garden. Um, they've also got some really nice like fairy lights and stuff. So I've picked some fairy lights up. I'm not sure on the garden furniture yet. Just because the weather's been so bad. So I haven't had time to actually do our garden or like do anything to it. Please excuse my hair. I have been windswept. You can probably hear the rain right now. And my car is shaking because it is so windy. It is crazy. But yeah, as I was saying in Asda, well, I was trying to say but I got very shy <laughs> vlogging in public as I always do. Yeah, I was basically saying that I haven't had a chance to do anything to our garden yet since we've moved in just because the weather has been like this. And today it was actually like when we were out for a walk this morning, me and Harley, I mean it's still the morning, but yeah, when we were out for a walk earlier today, it was windy but it was a nice day and I was like, I might actually get to start on tidying the garden because when I say it's such a mess, like it honestly is such a mess. Like I always thought like when a new tenant moved into a property, like the previous tenants would have had to kept it like tidy or like the landlord would tidy it before someone else moved in. But that's like not the case in this property and it's just so messy. Like behind the shed, there's like slabs and bricks and just rubbish that I just want to get out. And like every time I see it from a kitchen window, I'm like, I need to get started on this so I was gonna do it today but probably not anymore because of the weather so yeah I'll have to do it another time. I even bought a kneeling pad whilst I was in Asda then because I was like I'm gonna start like weeding and stuff like that. No. <laughs> Harley has been the biggest soup today. It's like you can't get close enough to me which is the cutest but I don't know why like today especially he's been so cuddly. It's so cute though. So it's actually stopped raining so I think I might go outside into the garden and just see what I can get done before it starts raining again. I'm gonna tie my hair up though because it's so windy so that it doesn't get out of my way and even if I can just move the stuff out from behind the shed I think I'd be happy because at least then I've made a start. Um, but the thing is, is, I don't know what to do with the stuff when I move it out from behind the shed. Like, I feel like I need a skip or something. I don't know any of that. Like, when it comes to DIY or anything like that, I am useless. Like, I will put my hands up and say that I can't do anything. Like, I see all these, like, women on TikTok like putting up shelves, building, like, media walls, <laughs> like, building their own bed out of these planks of wood that they just have and I'm like how how do you do that like I can't even put together like basic flat pack furniture 
um I would love to be able to do things like that but I'm just not a practical person like I never was in school I was always better at like I don't know what the word is like academic I guess yeah I would just much rather be in a maths class rather than everybody else who loved doing like art and they would love woodwork and music and stuff like that those classes I absolutely hated and dreaded and I'd much rather be in a class like maths or English or I don't know biology or something like stuff that was like written was my thing practical stuff no like I remember in woodwork I was such a baby and I would cry and <laughs> not cry but I would be scared of like the equipment or like touching any drills or anything like that hated it absolutely hated it um so yeah I don't know what to do with the stuff when I take out of the shed. I've got like these crates that my uncle gave me for moving just to put stuff in. So I might just put them in there and then just ask my dad like, what do I do with this stuff? Cause it's all just slabs and stuff. I would go out and show you like around the garden, but it's so windy. I don't think you'll be able to hear me. And also I am really awkward, like talking out there because I've got neighbors. Like I don't want them to just see me with a camera and then like, also hear me it's just gonna be so awkward so I might go out and film some clips and then do a little voiceover and just talk you through the garden because well I was gonna go into detail but yeah I'll just do that instead so this is what you can see from our spare bedroom window um so yeah as you can see we have a shed with a hole in the roof I don't want to give too much away of the exact area that I live just because I've had some weird instances in the past <laughs> from people finding out where I live um from these videos um so yeah when I actually came to view this property I didn't even notice there was a hole in the roof because when you're in the garden you actually can't see it and the only place you can see it from is if you look out this window and apparently I didn't look out this window I mean I did from a distance but not like right up to where you can actually see the hole in the roof so yeah we have a shed that has a hole in the roof and the landlord said we can fix it at our own cost <laughs> so yeah I don't know how to fix a shed so don't know what to do with that um the garden is overgrown but again I need to buy a lawnmower but then where do I store the lawnmower because anything in that is just rain's gonna go through to it and ruin it so I need to get a shed or find someone who fixes sheds uh which seems like a very expensive thing and then basically if this was my garden I said I was going to do a voiceover and here I am just talking from inside but maybe that's easier if this was actually my garden and I owned it I would be really excited about this project because I would basically replace this fence on the left because it is falling down paint it all like make it really nice probably remove the slabs and just redo them because again they're just they don't look the best and then there's like stones down you can't see my finger yeah down here there's like stones but like not enough of them and they're like just rubbish like i don't know if you can even see behind the shadow just how much rubbish is spilling out of there and then i'll sh show you, th you this bit when we go out but like around the side here is like where our bins are and it's just like again just like stones and messy and just not great so yeah i would love to be able to replace the fence especially the one on the left side um especially because there's like a hole at the bottom and um i think i mentioned having a garden in my q a and i think i said like it was going well with harley or it wasn't going too bad well i feel like i jinxed it because now he is awful in the garden because he's found out that a dog lives right next door to us and a dog lives right across from us so every time he goes out even if the dog's not out he just think like because he knows that the dog could be there he just goes crazy and he won't stop barking and like i don't mind a dog barking because like that's what they do but like it's just the fact that he won't stop it's like there's other dogs around here that will bark when they hear something and then they'll stop but Harley he doesn't even have to hear anything and he just barks like mad um so yeah as I was saying there's like a little hole in that fence so he can like he gets really mad when he can even like see the dog like that makes him even worse so I would love to be able to replace that fence but I just need to see how much it would be and then just think like would it be worth it for me to do this is future Lucille just jumping in on this vlog because I'm currently editing it and I thought that I would just look up the average price of putting up a fence and this is what Google says 1,000 to 2,000 pounds so the fact that I'm in this vlog just being like oh yeah I think I might replace this fence of a garden that doesn't even belong to me and like just 
make my landlord's property better by spending a thousand to two thousand pounds is just ridiculous and you're probably all laughing at me but honestly I am so clueless when it comes to things with the garden and like how much things cost I genuinely thought it'd be like a hundred pound to put up a fence and I was like hmm maybe I could pay that but yeah one thousand to two thousand pounds no thank you I will just have to deal with a fence that is falling down Okay, so this is behind the shed before. As you can see, there's just so much rubbish. I don't even know what all of this is, but it is ridiculous. There's so much. So yeah, you can hear how bad my dog is out in the garden. If anyone has a dog that maybe was similar and they managed to like try something that worked please let me know just give me advice i'm really thinking of getting a dog trainer uh well looking for a dog trainer in this area to maybe help us out just because i was so excited about getting a garden especially for harley but like i don't want to annoy my neighbors with harley being like that so i literally just put him inside there because i was stressed but yeah anyways here i am just taking everything out of behind this shed and when i say there was so much like there was actually layers of it but yeah look how good it looks after it's all finished this actually took me hours believe it or not because there was so much but i'm so glad it's done i am so glad that i got all of that rubbish out from behind the shed it was actually so much worse than i thought it was a because i didn't think about how difficult it would be to actually get like reach the stuff like it was find the stuff on either end but the stuff in the middle i literally found this random wooden stick in the garden like it's like a random wooden pole because there's just so much random rubbish in that garden that was left and i was like trying to like scrape all the stuff so that i could reach it and then if i couldn't i was like trying to fit behind this tiny gap in the shed to get it all um so yeah i'm so glad i got that done it actually took me a while just because it wasn't so much the big stuff like yeah some of the like bricks and slabs and random crap that was behind there was quite heavy so it was like quite difficult to move but yeah once all of the big stuff was out of the way there was so much just like rubbish underneath it like little wrappers like just random yeah little tiny bits of like plastic and I even found like little bits of broken glass and everything so it took ages to get all of that done um but yeah I did take a before and after I may have already inserted it in the vlog I don't know how many in this but if not I will put up like a before and after right now so you guys can see and like that's just one thing done to the garden and already I feel like it's just it looks a lot better um obviously I haven't even started any of the weeding and stuff like that but it was just so windy and cold out there I was like that's enough for today so yeah I think once I get the grass mold and all of the weeds removed it will look a lot better once I finished doing that I came in and I made like two phone calls I've been putting off making for ages that I had to make um and that took ages and I hate being on the phone it's the worst thing ever like I genuinely detest it I get so nervous on the phone and like whenever like a company asked me a question oh I just remembered I actually needed to phone third place but I actually can't put myself through that again um yeah whenever like a company asks my question my brain just goes blank and they actually must think I'm so stupid they're like oh surely you know that and I'm like I do I'm sorry like I'm just so nervous on the phone that my mind goes blank and it's the most embarrassing thing and that literally just happened to me on the phone so yeah that will take me a while to recover from but anyways I got a massive Amazon order because I bought a unit uh like a shelving unit to put in the living room just because I don't have anywhere to put my ornaments so I'm so excited about that but I honestly like I said earlier I'm not very good at DIY so I don't know if I should take this out layer and attempt it i feel like i should at least give it a go but what happens if it falls down <laughs> i'm gonna open the box really carefully because i'm not even too sure if it's the right color i feel like it's so hard to tell the colors of like wood online and i've just like had so much trouble trying to find something that um matches the color of our tv unit um like 
why does my forehead look so shiny? I swear it's not that shiny in real life. I think it must be like the light reflecting on it or something. Yeah, I feel like every unit that I saw was either like really dark wood or really light and that's like in between. I just couldn't find anything to match it. So I don't know if that matches. So we'll soon see. Oh, Harley, you want to jump up on the couch? Okay. Then a few other parcels actually arrived for me. So let's open these up. Oh yeah. Okay, this is quite cool. I got myself like a in cupboard bin. Um, so it's like, this is quite cool actually. I'm so excited for this. So this like goes in your cupboard and then your bins like slide out. So we have like a big bin for our main like general waste. We've got like the blue one. I don't know if you guys remember, my brother got it for, I think it was my Christmas present. And it was such a great Christmas present. I love that bin. Um, but then we also like need a bin for recycling. So when I live back in Inverness, like our outside bins, we had a general waste and we had one recycling bin. But now that I've moved here, you have like a general waste bin and then you have two separate um, recycling bins. So you have like one for like paper and cardboard and then another one for plastic and cans, I think it is. So what we've always done is for our recycling, we literally have a carrier bag under the sink and we just put all the recycling in there and then we'll take that bag out and empty it into the bin. Um, but we've never actually had an actual bin. It's just been a carrier bag and I, I just don't think it looks tidy um, and it's a bit annoying. I don't like it. So I found this on Amazon and yeah, it comes with like two bins. Actually, they're not too bad size. I think they're great. So we can have one for our plastics and cans and then one for cardboard and paper. And then that literally just goes under the sink. I'm really hoping it fits. I did measure it and it should fit. So yeah, this then goes under your sink and it just like pulls out. I think that's genius. I will try and link it down below if I remember. If I don't, literally just comment. Um, let me know in the comments and then I'll reply with the link. Then I got this mat which is like a dirt trapper so i got this one um and i got it in like a dark color i actually really like that color because i think it'll go well with the kitchen and also it won't show dirt as much so again i'm hoping that fits i will show you all this once i i was gonna say install it <laughs> i'm literally laying down a mat <laughs> i just got some fun Easter activities to do with the kids. Um, so when I see my nieces and my nephew, I thought this would be fun to do. So these are like little scratch eggs. I don't know how to describe them. They're basically in the shape of eggs and then you get these little things and then you can like scratch and draw on them. I don't know how to describe them. What are they called? <laughs> it literally just says Easter scratch. But hopefully you guys know what I mean. But I just thought that would be um, something fun to do. And then I also got these. Um, so there's like different like Easter shapes. And then it comes with a bunch of like different ribbons and stickers and stuff like that. And you can just like make different pictures with them. So like for example, this little guy is obviously a little chick. And then you can add different stickers, like have different eyes, like different shell like yeah i just thought that would be quite fun i just love doing things like that with kids so i popped the under sink bins in here and i think it is so cool oh my gosh that was my knees just clicking but yeah i had to do some rearranging i definitely need to buy some sort of like under sink like organization because it is a bit messy the rest of it but i'm so glad this fit like, if this was any taller, it really wouldn't. It obviously just depends what the pipes are like under your sink. But for me, like, there was no way I was getting it in there. And then, like, I couldn't get it on that side either. So this was the only spot and it literally, like, if it had been a tiny bit bigger, it wouldn't have fit. So I'm so glad. But yeah, it literally just comes out like that. How cool is that? And then, yeah, I've just emptied the bins. But yeah, well, I've got a little bit of cardboard in there. But yeah, it's going to be so much better to then have it split and have our cardboard and paper and then our plastic and cans in that one. And it's just like so much more neater than the carrier bag that we had under there. So I'm so happy with that. Delighted that I found that on Amazon. And then 
this is our new mat for the back door which is so fluffy i love it but my only worry is that it might be a bit too fluffy as in i think it's a lot taller than our last mat so i don't know if the door is going to open i mean it's still a little bit like folded up so it's already time to go out for an evening walk i honestly i say this every time but where does the day go when you have the day off it's so annoying, it goes by so quickly. But how cute are these poo bags? That sounds really stupid, but how cute are these? My mum got them for Harley for Easter. Um, and I've just ran out of my last roll of poo bags, so I'm excited to use these ones. <laughs> Never did I think I'd be saying that sentence, but they're honestly so cute. These ones have little bunny rabbits. How adorable. So yeah, I'm gonna go walk Harley come back and eat dinner then probably have a bath actually which I'm so looking forward to and then I might attempt to build that unit. Harley and I are back from our walk and I've just poured myself a nice bubble bath. My mum actually got me this bath bomb um, and it says love you to the moon and back on it and how cute is it? The top of the moon is kind of broken off now, but yeah, I'm gonna use it just now. I always, I'm really bad for like, if something's really pretty, I'm like, oh, I don't wanna use it because it's too pretty, but no, I'm actually gonna use it. It's fizzing away in there. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my bath now. I just had the longest bath, which was so nice. But yeah, my face is so red now because I'm so warm. Also, excuse my hair, once I like wash and dry it, it just goes, so let's just ignore it please <laughs> but yeah I think I'm gonna give this shelf a go I think I'm gonna regret it I'm probably gonna open it and then literally just put it back in the box because I won't know what to do but I at least need to give it a go right <laughs> okay that is not a bad match like it doesn't look the same but it doesn't look completely different like I was scared it was gonna so yeah, no, to be fair, it's kind of similar. Like, this is a bit more darker, but it's not drastic, so I think it's a keeper. managed to build it and I'm so happy with it. It was honestly so much easier than I thought. I don't know why I thought it was going to be really difficult and like the instructions were going to be hard to understand but it was literally just like a couple pieces of wood and the pieces were so obvious where they go. I feel like it's really difficult when you have something where there's like loads of different pieces and not all like small pieces and there's loads of different size screws and stuff like that but it was literally just like the thing came with a little allen key and I could just like everything just screwed in really easily so it was great um so it's not going there well it's going there just now but it's not gonna stay there I don't think I've showed you guys our living room but basically it's the room that I dislike the most in our house at the moment and I will tell you exactly why because look at it it's just a jumble of chairs like all we have in here is just like too much sofa it stresses me out when we come in here you might be wondering why this is facing the other way it's because we like cleaned it and hoovered it because we're actually trying to sell it because it just doesn't fit in this room i don't know if you guys remember but in our old flat this chair was in the bedroom and then these two were in our living room but this doesn't actually fit in our bedroom here i just can't wait to get rid of it because we can't even open this door fully there's just not enough space so yeah once that's gone 
we can actually start to organize the living room and actually look like a living room but right now we just have everything everywhere and like we've got this bracket still but i don't even know how to put a tv on a bracket so i am waiting until michael does that yeah i would give it a go myself but i have a feeling i would drop the tv and smash it like michael said we had to order another bracket because this is only part of a bracket like you need the bits to attach the tv so he's like orders another one so like why is that bracket even in the wall if you can't even use it if you need another part to attach it to the tv is what i don't understand so i'm leaving that to him but yeah i just cannot wait until this living room actually looks nice because it's stressing me out <laughs> I am going to make this out real quick because I don't think I've ever looked this red in my life. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I feel like it was a really long one, so I hope you like long vlogs. And yeah, I will see you guys very, very soon for another vlog. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!